everyone, I'm here with your weekly taroscope for the week of April 2nd to the 8th. Um, I am using the Line Strider Tarot, which I just got recently, um, along with for the Oracle card, I'm using the Mystical Wisdom deck as well. So let's get started. Um, as always, if you want your own reading, you can go below to my Etsy shop. But anyways, let's get on with what's in store for the week. So for Aries, we have the King of Pentacles. So Aries, this is a week where um, you're really going to be looking at your finances, at uh, business, at work, at anything that's sort of on a very physical, concrete sort of level, anything that has to do with home and trying to manage things very well. There also may be a financial opportunity of some kind or a business opportunity that comes your way this week and it's saying for you to jump on that. Um, and to take advantage of any opportunities in those areas this week. You're definitely going to be feeling on top of things and in control of uh, your finances and work life this week. For Taurus, we have, oh, for Taurus, we have the devil. So this is a week, Taurus, where you might be tempted by things, um, especially things that um, you know aren't good for you or excesses. It's also um, saying that you might be feeling like you're con being controlled or manipulated in some way. Um, it's reminding you that you always have a choice, that you don't have to listen to things. And just because some people want you to do something doesn't mean that you have to do it. Um, so it's definitely asking you to examine in what areas of your life you're feeling like you're not in control and to take some of that control back. For Gemini, we have temperance. So Gemini, this is a week where you're feeling very balanced emotionally. It's a week where you're really trying to balance out, you know, work and fun and rest and play and all those things and other people's needs with your own, but you're doing a great job of it. It's also showing this is a week where you may be feeling spiritually guided. You might get a lot of uh, intuitive insights. Uh, you might feel like, you know, loved ones are around you from the other side. Um, it's definitely a week where you're feeling very much at ease with things. Um, and a week where you're combining things, it's like you're able to balance different parts of your life with ease. And it's asking you as well to be patient with yourself and others. For Cancer, we have the Six of Pentacles. So Cancer, a little bit of money might come your way or someone might give you a generous gift. Um, but it's asking you to share your wealth with others. And that doesn't necessarily mean money. It might be your time. It might be your creative gifts. But you're feeling very generous this week and you're feeling very abundant. For Leo, we have the Three of Wands. So Leo, you're making progress in your creative endeavors. It's time to give yourself a pat on the back. Other people are seeing all the hard work that you're doing as well. And while it's not, you know, the end of the road or, you know, maybe it's you working on a big project and it's not complete yet, you are seeing some results and people are acknowledging the hard work that you're doing. For Virgo, we have the Ten of Wands. So Virgo, this is a week where you might be feeling overwhelmed and like you have so much on your plate. And this card's reminding you it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to delegate. It's okay to, you know, put some things off that maybe no, don't need to be done right away because it's you're carrying too much right now. And I know, Virgo, you like to have all the details done to your satisfaction, but sometimes you have to let some things go and let people help you. For Libra, we have the Nine of Wands. So Libra, this is a reminder to keep going. It's a reminder that um, even though you might feel like you've been slogging and working really hard on things, um, and you're not sure when the light of the end of the tunnel is or when you're going to get there, it's saying you are getting there and to give that final push that, you know, you're, you're doing the best that you can and to just keep going with things that there is success around the corner. For Scorpio, we have the Eight of Wands. So this is going to be a busy week for you, Scorpio. This is a week where there's lots of running around, there's lots of rushing, there's things to get done, there might be travel going on. And it's saying that, you know, it, to be in the flow of things, um, but to slow down if you need to and to stop if you need to. Um, that it's okay that this is going to be a busy week um, to try to go with the flow as much as you can. For Sagittarius, we have the Seven of Wands. So Sagittarius, you might be feeling like you are um, having to defend yourself or you might feel like others are jealous of you. You might be in a competition of some kind and saying that you are more than capable of coming out on top or defending yourself or whatever means necessary, but you can't sit on your laurels. You have to um, take action and take action to defend yourself, take action towards what you, what goals you're going towards this week. 
For Capricorn, I've got the Six of Wands here. So this is a good week, Capricorn. This is the card of victory. This is a week where you can pat yourself on the back and feel great about what you're doing. Enjoy your successes. Uh, reward yourself. You don't have to work all the time. It's okay to reward yourself this week. For Aquarius, we have the Five of Wands. So Aquarius, there might be um, little things coming up this week, especially you know with Mercury retrograde going on, little frustrations, little arguments. Um, and it's there's a lot of creative energy around you, but it hasn't settled yet, and that's why there's um, kind of you know a lot of conflict in the air. But it's saying you can use that energy wisely, and don't get caught up in little dramas. Look at the big picture. And for Pisces, we have the Four of Wands. So Pisces, this is a week of celebration. This is a week where you can relax and be with others. If you're going to an event of some kind, it's going to go very well. So this is a week of relaxation. This is a week of celebrating and appreciating those around you. So a bit of a mixed week. It's, um, you know, some, this is a week where it seems like for some signs, there's a lot of activity going on. And for others, it's saying like, hey, give yourself a pat on the back, slow down. It's okay. You're doing all right. So a little bit, you know, two different kind of energies seem to be going on this week. Um, from the Oracle deck, we have uh, Dragon, Discover Your Courage. And I think this one really speaks to the signs where there's a lot of activity going on this week. Um, that, you know, sometimes we are in situations where maybe we haven't done something before or maybe we're afraid or we, we don't want conflict or, um, you know, we're not sure how things are going to turn out. And it's saying that you have the courage to deal with things. That this is a week where you can really, you know, pull, pull that energy from you, pull that courage uh, towards going for your goals. So that's what I'm seeing for this week. Um, if you have any questions or um, there's anything you have observed, uh, let me know, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.